Section 1 of Hymns of the Christian Church. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Colin McRoberts. Hymns of the Christian Church. Edited by Charles W. Eliot. Part 1. Hymns Based on Psalms. Psalm 19 by Joseph Addison The spacious firmament on high With all the blue ethereal sky And spangled heavens a shining frame Their great original proclaim The unwearied sun from day to day Does his creator's power display And publishes to every land the work of an almighty hand. Soon, as the evening shades prevail, the moon takes up the wondrous tale, and nightly to the listening earth repeats the story of her birth. Whilst all the stars that round her burn, and all the planets in their turn, Confirm the tidings as they roll, And spread the truth from pole to pole. What though, in solemn silence all, Move round the dark terrestrial ball? What though no real voice nor sound Amid their radiant orbs be found, In reason's ear, they all rejoice, and utter forth a glorious voice, forever singing as they shine. The hand that made us is divine. End of section one. This recording is in the public domain. Section two of Hymns of the Christian Church, read for LibriVox.org, by Stephen Kinford. Psalm 23, by Henry Williams Baker. The King of love my shepherd is, whose goodness faileth never. I nothing lack if I am his, and he is mine forever. Where streams of living water flow, my ransomed soul he leadeth, and where the verdant pastures grow, with food celestial feedeth. Perverse and foolish oft I strayed, but yet in love he sought me, and on his shoulder gently laid, and home rejoicing brought me. In death's dark veil I fear no ill, with thee, dear Lord, beside me, thy rod and staff my comfort still, thy cross before to guide me. Thou spreadst a table in my sight, thy unction grace bestoweth, and oh, what transport of delight from thy pure chalice floweth, and so through all the length of days thy goodness faileth never good shepherd may i sing thy praise within thy house forever end of section two this recording is in the public domain recording by stephen kinford sharon township ohio section three of hymns of the christian church read for librivox dot org by jerome lawson Psalm 72 by Isaac Watts Jesus shall reign wherever the sun Does his successive journeys run His kingdom stretch from shore to shore Till moon shall wax and wane no more Behold the islands with their kings And Europe her best tribute brings From north and south the princes meet To pay their homage at his feet Their Persia glorious to behold Their India shines in eastern gold and barbarous nations, at his word, Submit, and bow, and own their Lord. For him shall endless prayer be made, And praises throng to crown his head. His name, like sweet perfume, shall rise, With every morning sacrifice. People and realms of every tongue Dwell on his love with sweetest song, And infant voices shall proclaim Their early blessings on his name. Blessings abound wherever he reigns, the prisoner leaps to loose his chains. 
the weary find eternal rest, and all the sons of want are blessed. Where he displays his healing power, death and the curse are known no more. In him the tribes of Adam boast, more blessings than their father lost. Let every creature rise and bring peculiar honors to our king. Angels descend with songs again, and earth repeat the loud amen. End of section 3 this recording is in the public domain. Section 4 of Hymns of the Christian Church Sung for LibriVox.org by Karen Savage Psalm 90 by Isaac Watts Our God, our help in ages past, our hope for years to come, our shelter from the stormy and our eternal home. Under the shadow of thy throne, thy saints have dwelt secure. Sufficient is thine arm alone, and our defense is sure. Before the hills in order stood, years the same. Thy word commands our flesh to dust, return ye sons of men. All nations rose from earth at first, and turned to earth again. A thousand ages in thy sight are like an Short as the watch that ends the night before the rising sun. The busy tribes of flesh and blood with all their lives and cares are carried downward by thy flood and lost in following years. Time like an ever-rolling stream bears all its sons away. They fly forgotten as a dream dies at the opening day. Like flowery fields the nations stand pleased with the morning light. The flowers beneath the mower's hand lie with ring at his night. Our God, our help in ages past, our hope for years to come. Be thou our God while troubles last and our eternal. End of section 4. This recording is in the public domain. Section 5 of Hymns of the Christian Church. Read for LibriVox.org by Dailybab. Psalm 100 by William Keith. All people that on earth do dwell, sing to the Lord with cheerful voice. Him serve with fear, his praise forth tell. Come ye before him, and rejoice. The Lord ye know is God indeed, Without our aid he did us make. We are his folk, he doth us feed, And for his sheep he doth us take. O oh, enter then his gates with praise, Approach with joy his courts unto. Praise, Lord, and bless his name always, for it is seemly so to do. For why? The Lord our God is good, his mercy is for ever sure, his truth at all times firmly stood, and shall from age to age endure. 
End of section 5. This recording is in the public domain. Section 6 of Hymns of the Christian Church Read for LibriVox.org by Stephen Kinford Psalm 104 by Sir Robert Grant O worship the King, all glorious above! O gratefully sing His power and His love! Our shield and defender, the Ancient of Days, Pavilioned in splendor and girded with praise! O tell of His might, O sing of His grace, Whose robe is the light, whose canopy space, His chariots of wrath, the deep thunder clouds form, And dark is His path on the wings of the storm. The earth with its store of wonders untold, Almighty, thy power hath found it of old, Hath established it fast by a changeless decree, And round it hath cast, like a mantle, the sea. Thy bountiful care, what tongue can recite? It breathes in the air, it shines in the light, It streams from the hills, it descends to the plain, And sweetly distills in the dew and the rain. Frail children of dust, and feeble as frail, In thee do we trust, nor find thee to fail. Thy mercies how tender, how firm to the end, Our Maker, Defender, Redeemer, and Friend. O measureless might, ineffable love, While angels delight to him thee above, The humber creation, though feeble their lays, With true adoration shall lisp to thy praise. End of section 6 This recording is in the public domain. Recording by Stephen Kinford, Sharon Township, Ohio. Section 7 of Hymns of the Christian Church Read for LibriVox.org Gloria in Excelsis Anonymous, 4th century or earlier Glory be to God on high, And in earth peace, good will toward men. We praise thee, we bless thee, we worship thee, we glorify thee, we give thanks to thee for thy great glory, O Lord God, heavenly King, God the Father Almighty. O Lord, the only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, O Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, that takest away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Thou that takest away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Thou that takest away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. Thou that sittest at the right hand of God the Father, have mercy on us. For Thou only art holy, Thou only art the Lord, Thou only, O Christ, with the Holy Ghost, art most high in the glory of God the Father. Amen. End of section 7 This recording is in the public domain. Section 8 of Hymns of the Christian Church Read for LibriVox.org by Colin McRoberts Shepherd of Tender Youth by St. Clement of Alexandria Translated by H. M. Dexter Shepherd of Tender Youth guiding in love and truth through devious ways. Christ, our triumphant King, we come thy name to sing. Hither our children bring tributes of praise. Thou art our holy Lord and all subduing word, healer of strife, Thou didst thyself abase, that from sin's deep disgrace Thou mightst save our race, and give us life. Thou art the great high priest, Thou hast prepared the feast of heavenly love, While in our mortal pain none calls on thee in vain. Help Thou dost not disdain help from above. Ever be thou our guide, our shepherd and our pride, our staff 
and song. Jesus, thou Christ of God, by thy perennial word, lead us where thou hast trod, make our faith strong. So now, until we die, sound we thy praises high, and joyful sing. Let all the holy throng, who to thy church belong, unite and swell the song to Christ our King. End of section 8. This recording is in the public domain. Section 9 of Hymns of the Christian Church. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. This recording is by Mark Smith of Simpsonville, South Carolina. Hymns of the Christian Church. Edited by Charles W. Eliot. Part 2. Greek Hymns. The day is past and over. Attributed to St. Anatolius and translated by J. M. Neal. The day is past and over. All thanks, O Lord, to Thee. I pray Thee now that sinless the hours of dark may be. O Jesu, keep me in Thy sight, and guard me through the coming night. The joys of day are over. I lift my heart to thee, and ask thee that offenceless the hours of dark may be. O Jesu, keep me in thy sight, and guard me through the coming night. The toils of day are over, I raise the hymn to thee, and ask that free from peril the hours of dark may be. O Jesu, keep me in thy sight, and guard me through the coming night. Be thou my soul's preserver, for thou alone dost know how many are the perils through which I have to go. O loving Jesu, hear my call, and guard and save me from them all. End of section 9. This recording is in the public domain. Section 10 of Hymns of the Christian Church. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Catherine Eastman. Hymns of the Christian Church. Edited by Charles W. Eliot. Part 2. Greek Hymns. The Day of Resurrection by St. John of Damascus. Translated by J. M. Neal. Tis the day of resurrection, as daily dawn to broad, the Passover of gladness, the Passover of God, from death to life eternal, from this world to the sky. Our Christ hath brought us over with hymns of victory. Our hearts be pure from evil, that we may see aright the Lord in rays eternal of resurrection light, and listening to Joyful, let earth her song begin. Let 
End of section 10. This recording is in the public domain. Section 11 of Hymns of the Christian Church Read for LibriVox.org by Colin McRoberts Art Thou Weary? by St. Stephen the Sabite Translated by J. M. Neal Art Thou Weary? Art thou languid? Art thou sore distressed? Come to me, saith one, and coming, be at rest. Hath he marks to lead me to him, if he be my guide? In his feet and hands are wound prints, and his side. Hath he diadem as monarch, that his brow adorns? Yea, a crown in very surety, but of thorns. If I find him, if I follow, What his guerdon here? Many a sorrow, many a labor, many a tear. If I still hold closely to him, What hath he at last? Sorrow vanquished, labor ended. Jordan passed. If I ask him to receive me, will he say me nay? Not till earth and not till heaven pass away. Finding, following, keeping, struggling, is he sure to bless? Angels, martyrs, prophets, virgins, answer. Yes. This recording is in the public domain. Section 12 of Hymns of the Christian Church Read for LibriVox.org Te Deum Laudamus Attributed to Niketa of Remissiana Fourth century. We praise thee, O God, we acknowledge thee to be the Lord. All the earth does worship thee, the Father everlasting. To thee all angels cry aloud, the heavens and all the powers therein. To thee Cherubim and Seraphim continually do cry, Holy, 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 Lord God of Sabaoth. Heaven and earth are full of the majesty of thy glory. The glorious company of the apostles praise thee. The goodly fellowship of the prophets praise thee. The noble army of martyrs praise thee. The holy church throughout all the world does acknowledge thee, the Father of an infinite majesty, thine honorable, true and only Son, also the Holy Ghost, the Comforter. Thou art the King of glory, O Christ. Thou art the everlasting Son of the Father. When thou tookest upon thee to deliver man, thou didst not abhor the virgin's womb. When thou hadst overcome the sharpness of death, thou didst open the kingdom of heaven to all believers. Thou sittest at the right hand of God in the glory of the Father. We believe that thou shalt come to be our judge. We therefore praise thee, help thy servants whom thou hast redeemed with thy precious blood. Make them to be numbered with thy saints in glory everlasting. O Lord, save thy people and bless thine heritage. Govern them and lift them up for ever. Day by day we magnify thee, and we worship thy name, ever world without end. O save, O Lord, to keep us this day without sin. O Lord, have mercy upon us, have mercy upon us. O Lord, let thy mercy lighten upon us, as our trust is in thee. O Lord, in thee have I trusted, let me never be confounded. End of section 12. This recording is in the public domain. Section 13 of Hymns of the Christian Church, read for LibriVox.org. 
Veni Creator Spiritus, attributed to Charlemagne, translated by John Dryden. Creator Spirit, by whose aid the world's foundations first were laid, come, visit every pious mind, come, pour thy joys on humankind. From sin and sorrow set us free, and make thy temples worthy thee. O source of uncreated light, the Father's promised paraclete, thrice holy fount, thrice holy fire, our hearts with heavenly love inspire, come, and thy sacred unction bring to sanctify us while we sing. Plenteous of grace, descend from high, rich in thy sevenfold energy, thou strength of his almighty hand, whose power doth heaven and earth command. Proceeding spirit, our defence, who dost the gift of tongues dispense, and crownst thy gift with eloquence. Refine and purge our earthy parts, but, O, oh, inflame and fire our hearts. Our frailties help, our vice control, submit the senses to the soul, and, when rebellious they are grown, then lay thy hand and hold them down. Chase from our mind the infernal foe, and peace the fruit of love bestow, and, lest our feet should step astray, protect and guide us in the way. Make us eternal truths receive, and practice all that we believe. Give us thyself, that we may see the Father and the Son by thee. Immortal honour, endless fame, attend the Almighty Father's name. The Saviour Son be glorified, who, for lost man's redemption, died. And equal adoration be, eternal paraclete, to thee. End of section 13. This recording is in the public domain. Section 14 of Hymns of the Christian Church, read for LibriVox.org. Hic Breve Vivitur by Bernard of Morlaix. Translated J. M. Neal. Brief life is here our portion, brief sorrow, short lived care. The life that knows no ending, the tearless life, is there. And after fleshly scandal, and after this world's night, and after storm and whirlwind, is calm and joy and light. Their grief is turned to pleasure, such pleasure as, below, no human voice can utter, no human heart can know. The peace of all the faithful, the calm of all the blessed, inviolate, unvaried, divinest, sweetest, best. That peace, but who may claim it? The guileless in their way, who keep the ranks of battle, who mean the things they say. Strive man to win that glory, toil man to gain that light. Send hope before but to grasp it, till hope be lost in sight. End of the section 14. This recording is in public domain. Section 15 of Hymns of the Christian Church Read for LibriVox.org Urb Sion Aurea by Bernard of Morlaix Translated by G. M. Neal Jerusalem the golden, with milk and honey blessed, Beneath thy contemplation sing heart and voice oppressed. I know not, oh, I know not, what social joys are there, What radiancy of glory, what light beyond compare. They stand, those halls of Sion, conjubilant with song, and bright with many an angel, and all the martyrs throng. And they who, with their leader, have conquered in the fight, for ever and for ever are clad in robes of white. Jerusalem the glorious, the glory of the elect, O dear and future vision that eager hearts expect, 
new mansion of new people, whom God's own love and light promote, increase, make holy, identify, unite. End of section 15. This recording is in the public domain. Section 16 of Hymns of the Christian Church, read for LibriVox.org. Jesu Dulcis Memoria by St. Bernard of Clairvaux, translated by E. Caswall. Jesu, the very thought of thee with sweetness fills the breast, but sweeter far thy face to see, and in thy presence rest. No voice can sing, no heart can frame, nor can the memory find a sweeter sound than Jesu's name, the Saviour of mankind. O hope of every contrite heart, O joy of all the meek, to those who ask how kind thou art, how good to those who seek. But what to those who find? Ah, this nor tongue nor pen can show the love of Jesus, what it is none but his loved ones know. Jesu, our only joy be thou, as thou our prize wilt be. In thee be all our glory now, and through eternity. End of part 16. This recording is in the public domain. Section 17 of Hymns of the Christian Church. Read for LibriVox.org by Jordan. Jesu Dulcedo Cordium by St. Bernard of Clairvaux. Translated by Ray Palmer. Jesus, thou joy of loving hearts, thou fount of life, thou light of men, from the best bliss that earth imparts, we turn unfilled to thee again. Thy truth unchanged hath ever stood, thou savest those that on thee call, to them that seek thee thou art good, to them that find thee all in all. We taste thee, O thou living bread, and long to feast upon thee still. We drink of thee, the fountain head, and thirst our souls from thee to fill. Our restless spirits yearn for thee, where'er our changeful lot is cast. Glad when thy gracious smile we see, blessed when our faith can hold thee fast. O Jesus, ever with us stay, make all our moments calm and bright. Chase the dark night of sin away, shed o'er the world thy holy light. End of section 17. This recording is in the public domain. Section 18 of the Hymns of the Christian Church. Recorded for LibriVox.org. Dies Ire, Dies Illa, by Thomas A. Solano, translated J. O'Hagan. Day of wrath, that day whose knelling gives to flame this earthly dwelling, psalm and sibyl thus foretelling. Oh, what agony of trembling, when the judge, mankind assembling, probeth all beyond dissembling, peeling, Wondrous through the regions shall the trumpet force obedience, and the graves yield up their legions. Startled death and nature sicken thus to see the creature quicken, waiting judgment terror-stricken. Open, then with all recorded, stands the book, from whence awarded doom shall pass with deed accorded. When the judge is throned in session, all things hid shall find confession, unavenged be no transgression. Wretch! What then shall be my pleading? Who my patron interceding? Scarce the just securely speeding. Thou, 
O king of awful splendour, saving grace dost freely render, save me, fount of pity tender. Think, twas I, my lost condition caused, O pitying lord, thy mission. Spare my soul that day's perdition. Seeking me thy footstep hasted, me to save the cross was tasted, be not toil so mighty wasted. Righteous judge of retribution, grant the gift of absolution, ere the day of restitution. Me, my culprit heart accuses, inmost guilt my face suffuses, heal, O Lord, thy suppliant's bruises. Thou who Mary's sin hast shriven, thou who brought'st the thief to heaven, hope to me hast also given. Nothing worth is mine endeavour, yet in ruth my soul deliver from the flame that burns for ever. With thy sheep, thy chosen, place me, severed from the goats, embrace me, on thy right hand ransomed, place me. When the reprobate, confounded, lie with wrathful fire surrounded, may my call to bliss be sounded. Crushed to dust, and prostrate, bending, all my heart contrition rending, I implore thee, guard my ending. O oh, that awful day of mourning, when, from earthly dust returning, guilty man shall bide his sentence, spare him, God, for his repentance. Jesus, Lord, thy mercy lending, grant them rest, thy rest unending. End of section 18. This recording is in the public domain. Section 19 of Hymns of the Christian Church, read for LibriVox.org, by William Sapp, Stabat Mater, by Jacobus de Benedictus, translated by D. F. McCarthy. By the cross on which suspended, with his bleeding hands extended, hung that son she so adored, stood the mournful mother weeping, she whose heart its silence keeping, grief had cleft as with a sword. Oh, that mother's sad affliction, mother of all benediction, of the soul begotten one, oh, the grieving sense bereaving, of her heaving breast perceiving the dread sufferings of her son. What man is there so unfeeling, who, his heart to pity stealing, could behold that sight unmoved? Could Christ's mother see their weeping, see the pious mother keeping, vigil by the son she loved? For his people's sins atoning, she saw Jesus writhing, groaning, neath the scourge wherewith he bled, saw her loved one, her consoler, dying in his dreadful dolor, till at length his spirit fled. O thou mother of election, fountain of all pure affection, make thy grief, thy pain, my own. Make my heart to God returning, in the love of Jesus burning, feel the fire that thine has known. Blessed mother of prediction, stamp the marks of crucifixion deeply on my stony heart, ever leading where thy bleeding son is pleading for my needing, let me in his wounds take part. Make me truly each day newly, while life lasts, O mother duly, weep with him the crucified. Let me, tis my soul demanding, near the cross where thou art standing, stand in sorrow at thy side. Queen of virgins, best and dearest, grant, O grant, the prayer thou hearest. Let me ever mourn with thee. Let compassion me so fashion, that Christ's wounds, his death and passion, be each day renewed in me. O oh, those wounds do not deny me, on that cross, O oh, crucify me, let me drink his blood, I pray. Then on fire enkindled daring, I may stand without despairing, on that dreadful judgment day. May that cross be my salvation, may Christ's death my preservation, may his grace my heart make wise. And when death my body taketh, may my soul, when it awaketh, open heaven its raptured eyes. 
End of section 19. This recording is in the public domain. Recording by William Sapp. Section 20 of Hymns of the Christian Church. Read for LibriVox.org by John Brand. A Des Fidelis, also called the Portuguese Chapel Hymn. Hasten, ye faithful, glad, joyful, and holy. Speed ye to Bethlehem to honor the word. See there the king of angels is born lowly. O come and kneel before him. O come and all adore him. O come, O come, rejoicing to honor the Lord. God of the Godhead, true light unabated. Mary the Virgin has born the adored. True God eternal, begot uncreated. O come and kneel before him. O come and all adore him. O come, O come, rejoicing to honor the Lord. Sing all ye angels till echoes rebounding, Swell through your halls, for ever be heard. Glory to God through all heaven resounding, O come and kneel before him, O come and all adore him. O come, O come, rejoicing to honor the Lord. Praise to the infant who this day descended, Glory to thee, blessed Jesus adored, Word in whom two natures join, yet unblended, O come and kneel before him. O come, and all adore him. O come, O come, rejoicing to honor the Lord. End of section 20. This recording is in the public domain. Section 21 of Hymns of the Christian Church Read for LibriVox.org O Deus, Ego Amo Te Attributed to St. Francis Javier. Translated by Edward Caswell. My God, I love thee, not because I hope for heaven thereby, nor because they who love thee not must burn eternally. Thou, O my Jesus, thou didst me upon the cross embrace, for me didst wear the nails and spear, and manifold disgrace, and grief and torments numberless, and sweat of agony, yea, death itself, and all for me, who was thine enemy. Then why, O blessed Jesus Christ, should I not love thee well? Not for the hope of winning heaven, nor of escaping hell. Not with the hope of gaining aught, not seeking a reward, but as thyself has loved me, O ever-loving Lord. Even though I love thee, and will love, and in thy praise will sing, Solely because thou art my God, and my eternal King. End of the section 21. This recording is in the public domain. Section 22 of Hymns of the Christian Church Read for LibriVox.org by Leon Meyer Part 4 Modern Hymns A Mighty Fortress is Our God by Martin Luther Translated by Frederick Henry Hedge A mighty fortress is our God, a bulwark never failing. Our helper he amid the flood of mortal ills prevailing. For still our ancient foe doth seek to work us woe. His craft and power are great, and, armed with cruel hate, on earth is not his equal. Did we in our own strength confide, our striving would be losing. Were not the right man on our side, the man of God's own choosing? Dost ask who that may be? Christ Jesus, it is he. Lord Sabaoth, his name, from age to age the same, and he must win the battle. And though this world with devils filled Should threaten to undo us, We will not fear, for God hath willed His truth to triumph through us. The prince of darkness grim, We tremble not for him, His rage we can endure, For lo, his doom is sure, One little word shall fell him. That word above all earthly powers, No thanks to them, abideth, 
the spirit and the gifts are ours through him who with us sideth let goods and kindred go this mortal life also the body they may kill god's truth abideth still his kingdom is for ever end of section twenty two this recording is in the public domain section twenty three of hymns of the christian church recorded for librivox dot org by laurie ann walden now thank we all our god by martin rinkert translated by katherine winkworth now thank we all our God with heart and hands and voices who wondrous things hath done in whom his world rejoices who from our mother's arms hath blessed us on our way with countless gifts of love and still is ours today oh may this bounteous god through all our life be near us with ever joyful hearts and blessed peace to cheer us and keep us in his grace and guide us when perplexed and free us from all ills in this world and the next all praise and thanks to god the father now be given the son and him who reigns with them in highest heaven the one eternal god whom earth and heaven adore for thus it was is now and shall be evermore end of section 23 this recording is in the public domain section 24 of hymns of the christian church read for LibriVox.org by leon meyer be not dismayed attributed to gustavus adolphus Translated by Elizabeth Charles Be not dismayed, thou little flock, Although the foe's fierce battle shock Loud on all sides assail thee. Though o'er thy fall they laugh secure, Their triumph cannot long endure. Let not thy courage fail thee. Thy cause is God's, go at his call, And to his hand commit thy all. Fear thou no ill impending, His Gideon shall arise for thee, God's word and people manfully, In God's own time defending. Our hope is sure in Jesus' might, Against themselves the godless fight, Themselves, not us, distressing. Shame and contempt their lot shall be, God is with us, with him are we. To us belongs his blessing. End of section 24. This recording is in the public domain. Section 25 of Hymns of the Christian Church Read for LibriVox.org By Colin McRoberts In Temptation By Charles Wesley Jesus, lover of my soul, let me to thy bosom fly, While the nearer waters roll, While the tempest still is high. Hide me, O my Saviour, Hide till the storm of life is past. Safe into the haven guide, O receive my soul at last. Other refuge have I none, Hangs my helpless soul on thee, 
leave, ah, leave me not alone. Still, support and comfort me. All my trust on thee is stayed. All my help from thee I bring. Cover my defenseless head with the shadow of thy wing. Wilt thou not regard my call? Wilt thou not accept my prayer? Lo, I sink, I faint, I fall. Lo, on thee I cast my care. Reach me out thy gracious hand, while I of thy strength receive. Hoping against hope, I stand, dying, and behold, I live. Thou, O Christ, art all I want. More than all in thee I find. Raise the fallen, cheer the faint, heal the sick, and lead the blind. Just and holy is thy name. I am all righteousness. False and full of sin I am. Thou art full of truth and grace. Plenteous grace with thee is found, grace to cover all my sin. Let the healing streams abound, make and keep me pure within. Thou of life, the fountain art, free let me take of thee, Spring thou up within my heart, rise to all eternity. This recording is in the public domain. Section 26 of Hymns of the Christian Church, sung for LibriVox.org by Karen Savage. Christmas Hymn by Charles Wesley. Hark how all the welkin rings, Glory to the King of kings. Peace on earth and mercy mild, God and sinners reconciled. Joyful all ye nations rise, Join the triumph of the skies. You say Christ the Lord is born today Christ by highest heaven adored Christ the everlasting Lord late in time behold him come offspring of a virgin's womb veiled in flesh the Godhead see hail the Deity, pleased as man with man to appear, Jesus our Emmanuel here. Hail the heavenly Prince of Peace, hail the Son of Righteousness, light and life to all he brings, risen with healing in his wings. Mild he lays his glory by, born that man no more may die, born to raise the sons of earth, born to give them second birth. Come, desire of nations, come, fix in us thy humble home. Rise the woman's conquering seed, bruise in us the serpent's head. Now display thy saving power, ruined nature now restore. Now in mystic union join, thine to us and ours to thine. 
Adam's likeness, Lord, efface, stamp thy image in its place. Second Adam from above, reinstate us in thy love. Let us thee, though lost, regain, thee the life, the heavenly man. O to all thyself impart, formed in each believing heart. End of section 26. This recording is in the public domain. Section 27 of Hymns of the Christian Church Read for LibriVox.org by Dailybab Light Shining Out of Darkness by William Cowper God moves in a mysterious way His wonders to perform He plants His footsteps in the sea And rides upon the storm Deep in unfathomable minds Of never-failing skill he treasures up his bright designs, and works his sovereign will. Ye fearful saints, fresh courage take, the clouds ye so much dread, are big with mercy, and shall break in blessings on your head. Judge not the Lord by feeble sense, but trust him for his grace. Behind a frowning providence he hides a smiling face. His purposes will ripen fast, unfolding every hour. The bud may have a bitter taste, but sweet will be the flower. Blind unbelief is sure to err, and scan his work in vain. God is his own interpreter, and he will make it plain. End of section 27. This recording is in the public domain. Section 28 of Hymns of the Christian Church Recorded for LibriVox.org by Laurie Ann Walden The Future Peace and Glory of the Church by William Cooper Hear what God the Lord has spoken O my people faint and few Come forth less afflicted, broken Fair abodes I build for you Thorns of court fell tribulation shall no more perplex your ways. You shall name your wall salvation, and your gates shall all be praised. There like streams that feed the garden, pleasures without end shall flow. For the Lord your faith rewarding, all his bounty shall bestow. Still in undisturbed possession, peace and righteousness shall reign. Never shall you feel oppression, hear the voice of war again. Ye no more your sons descending, waning moons no more shall see, but your griefs forever ending find eternal noon in me. God shall rise and shining o'er you change today the gloom of night. He the Lord shall be your glory, God your everlasting light. End of section 28. This recording is in the public domain. Section 29 of Hymns of the Christian Church Read for LibriVox.org by Matt Bonhoff Early Piety by Reginald Heber By cool Siloan's shady rill How sweet the lily grows! How sweet the breath beneath the hill Of Sharon's dewy rose! Lo, such the child whose early feet The paths of peace have trod, Whose secret heart with influence sweet Is upward drawn to God. By cool Siloam's shady rill The lily must decay, The rose that blooms beneath the hill Must shortly fade away, And soon, too soon, the wintry hour Of man's mature age, 
will shake the soul with sorrow's power and stormy passion's rage. O thou whose infant feet were found within thy father's shrine, whose years with changeless virtue crowned were all alike divine, dependent on thy bounteous breath, we seek thy grace alone, in childhood, manhood, age, and death, to keep us still thine own. End of section 29. This recording is in the public domain. Section 30 of Hymns of the Christian Church, sung for LibriVox.org by Karen Savage. The Holy Trinity by Reginald A. Bear. Holy, holy, holy Lord God Almighty. End of section 30. This recording is in the public domain. Section 31 of Hymns of the Christian Church, read for LibriVox.org, by D. Stokes. Epiphany, by Reginald Heber. Brightest and best of the suns of the morning, dawn on our darkness and lend us thine aid. Star of the east, the horizon adorning, guide where our infant Redeemer is laid. Cold on his cradle the dewdrops are shining, low lies his head with the beast of the stall. Angels adore him in slumber reclining, maker and monarch and savior of all. Say shall we yield him in costly devotion, odors of Edom and offerings divine. Gems of the mountain and pearls of the ocean, myrrh from the forest or gold from the mine. Vainly we offer each ample oblation, vainly with gifts would his favor secure. Richer by far in the heart's adoration, dear to God are the prayers of the poor. Brightest and best of the suns of the morning, dawn on our darkness and lend us thine aid. Star of the east, the horizon adorning, guide where our infant redeemer is laid. End of section 31. The recording is in the public domain. Recording by D. Stokes, Towson. Section 32 of Hymns of the Christian Church Sung for LibriVox.org by Iswa, in Belgium, in March 2008. Son of my soul, thou Saviour dear, by John Cabell. Son of my soul, thou Saviour dear, It is not night if thou be near, O may no earth-born cloud arise, 
to hide thee from thy servant's eyes when the soft dews of kindly sleep my weary eyelids gently steep be my last thought how sweet to rest forever on my Savior's breast abide with me from morn till End of section 32. This recording is in the public domain. Section 33 of Hymns of the Christian Church, read for LibriVox.org by Megan and Emily Kunkel. Abide with me by Henry Francis Light. Abide with me. Sojourn, but abide.
Section 33. This recording is in the public domain. Section 34 of Hymns of the Christian Church. Read for LibriVox.org by Colin McRoberts. The Pillar of Cloud by John Henry Newman. Lead, kindly light amid the encircling gloom. Lead thou me on. The night is dark, and I am far from home. Lead thou me on. Keep thou my feet. I do not ask to see the distant scene. One step, enough for me. I was not ever thus, nor prayed that thou shouldst lead me on. I love to choose and see my path, but now lead thou me on. I love the garish day, and, spite of fears, pride ruled my will, remember not my past years. So long thy power hath blessed me, sure it still will lead me on or moor and fen, or crag and torrent, till the night is gone. And with the morn those angel faces smile, which I have loved long since, and lost a while. End of section 34. This recording is in the public domain. Section 35 of Hymns of the Christian Church, read for LibriVox.org. Nearer My God to Thee, by Sarah Flower Adams. Nearer my God to Thee, nearer to Thee, even though it be a cross that raises me. Still all my song would be Nearer, my God, to Thee Nearer, my God, to Thee Nearer to Thee Though like the wanderer The sun gone down 
End of section 35. This recording is in the public domain. Recording by Iswa in Belgium in February 2008. Section 36 of Hymns of the Christian Church, sung for LibriVox.org by Mark Smith and Karen Savage. My Faith Looks Up to Thee by Ray Palmer. My faith looks up to thee, thou Lamb of Calvary, Saviour divine. Now hear me while I pray, take all my guilt away, oh, let me from this day be
End of section 36. This recording is in the public domain. Section 37 of Hymns of the Christian Church. Read for the .org. A Sunday Hymn by Oliver Wendell Holmes. Lord of all being, throne afar, thy glory flames from the sun and star. Center and soul of every sphere, yet to each loving heart how near. Sun of our life, thy quickening ray, sheds on our path the glow of day. Star of our hope, thy softened light, cheers the long watches of the night. Our midnight is thy small withdrawn, our noontide is thy gracious dawn. Our rainbow arch, thy mercy sign, all save the clouds of sin are thine. Lord of all life, below, above, whose light is truth, whose warmth is love. Before thy ever-blazing throne, we ask no luster of our own. Grant us thy truth to make us free, and kindling hearts that burn for thee, till all thy living altars claim one holy light, one heavenly flame. End of section 37. This recording is in the public domain. Section 38 of Hymns of the Christian Church, read for LibriVox.org by Marian Drulard. The Pilgrims of the Night by Frederick William Faber. Hark, hark, my soul, angelic songs are swelling, o'er earth's green fields and ocean's wave-beat shore. How sweet the truth those blessed strains are telling, of that new life when sin shall be no more. Angels of Jesus, angels of light, singing to welcome the pilgrims of the night. Darker than night, life's shadows fall around us, and like benighted men we miss our mark. God hides himself, and grace hath scarcely found us, ere death finds out his victims in the dark. Angels of Jesus, angels of light, singing to welcome the pilgrims of the night. Far, far away, like bells at evening pealing, the voice of Jesus sounds o'er land and sea. And laden souls, by thousands meekly stealing, Kind shepherd, turn their weary steps to thee. Angels of Jesus, angels of light, Singing to welcome the pilgrims of the night. Onward we go, for still we hear them singing, Come, weary souls, for Jesus bids you come. And through the dark its echoes sweetly ringing, The music of the gospel leads us home. Angels of Jesus, angels of light, Singing to welcome the pilgrims of the night. Rest comes at last, though life be long and dreary. The day must dawn, and darksome night be past. All journeys end in welcomes to the weary, and heaven, the heart's true home, will come at last. Angels of Jesus, angels of light, singing to welcome the pilgrims of the night. Cheer up, my soul, faith's moonbeams softly glisten upon the breast of life's most troubled sea, and it will cheer thy drooping heart to listen to those brave songs which angels mean for thee. Angels of Jesus, angels of light, singing to welcome the pilgrims of the night. Angels, sing on, your faithful watches keeping, sing us sweet fragments of the songs above, while we toil on and soothe ourselves with weeping, till life's long night shall break in endless love. Angels of Jesus, angels of light, singing to welcome the pilgrims of the night. End of section 38. This recording is in the public domain. Section 39 of Hymns of the Christian Church Read for LibriVox.org by Patricia Oakley Let There Be Light by John Marriott Thou whose almighty word chaos and darkness heard and took their flight. Hear us, we humbly pray, and, where the gospel's day sheds not its glorious ray, let there be light. Thou, who didst come to bring on thy redeeming wing healing and sight, health to the sick in mind, sight to the inly blind, Oh, now to all mankind, let there be light. Spirit of truth and love, life-giving, holy dove, 
speed forth thy flight. Move on the water's face, bearing the lamp of grace, and in earth's darkest place, let there be light. Holy and blessed three, glorious trinity, wisdom, love, might, boundless as ocean's tide, rolling in fullest pride, through the earth, far and wide, let there be light. End of section 39. This recording is in the public domain. End of Hymns of the Christian Church. Edited by Charles W. Eliot.